Okay, I think this um, this this light bulb here's got the good the makings of a of a good fishing bobber or a float. I'm gonna make it so we can stick these um, stick these night lights in it. These glow sticks. So let's uh, let's strip it down and uh, and see what we can do with this. Take all these bits out. Let's crack on with it. Right, so let's uh, start by taking these little Phillips screws out. This is an LED, a uh, small bayonet light bulb. And this is what we get. I bought a batch of them last year and they've not been very good, so. Always been wanting to do something with them. Take that out there. Okay, so what have we got? A little diffuser there. I think I'm sure I'll be able to use that for something in the future. That side. Okay, let's see what's in here. These are the. Uh, SMD LE chips in here. Well, we're not interested in that. All we want to do is get take all the, the bits out of it. If it'll come out. There we go. Right, okay, there's the little driver in there. Oh, we'll chop them wires off. I think. Right. I want to be able to stick them in there. These glow sticks in there. So what I'm going to do, the idea is, I think I'm going to just drill a couple of holes. A glow stick on each side there. And I'm just going to drill the holes about half a millimetre smaller than the glow stick. Because these are quite, these are quite flexible, these are. So let's uh well, that aside anyway. Now to think this here with the LED chips on, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it round, chop these wires off, and uh, we'll do that now. And I'll turn that round, and what I'm gonna do is uh I mean this is aluminium this is. So uh, I'm gonna put some tin foil over that because it's a little bit more reflective and that'll stop the light from you know, I'm gonna turn it upside down, glue that in there with some aluminium foil on it. And then uh, that'll reflect the light back from the glow sticks, you know, just to get a little bit more out of them, you know. So I'll just chop them wires up there. And the, uh, that one's out. Pull that out. There you go. Oop, dropped it. There we go. So I'll leave that aside for later. So now I need to get this circuit board out. So I think the best thing to do is get the pliers and, uh, and pull that bayonet cap off. There we go. That's that pulled off. Just uh, clean up a bit there. Okay, so that circuit board there should just pull out now. Pull the wires off it. There we go. There we go. Alright. That's just a little driver for the LEDs, but we don't need that. Just take that little bit of sealant out. Bit of glue. Get rid of that. Now, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some stuff called CT1 uh, construction silicon. I use it when I'm repairing roofs and as a temporary fix and stuff, but it's really good stuff. This is it here. Um, you can use any sort of 
construction adhesive but uh, I like to use this stuff I was using epoxy for little jobs like this but it's quite expensive it's about eight pound for a for a tiny little uh, two pack mix so and this stuff is really strong stuff you know you can you can even uh, glue things under water and, and what have you so if you've got anything similar to that use that and it comes in a in a really big tube you see so um I'm going to be using that stuff so basically what I'm gonna do just get rid of that is um I'm just gonna fill I'm gonna fill this hole down here. Alright, I'm gonna fill all that up and then obviously for me for my fishing line I'm gonna bang a hole through there, a small hole through there a bit, bit, bit later on. But uh this here is the heat sink. Um I know from stripping other ones of these out this heat sink goes all the way down there. Um so I'm not gonna bother taking that out and it'll help to actually cock the float a little bit more, you know, and have it either that way or that way in the water well that's the intention anyway so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get some tin foil on that i'm going to glue it on and then i'm going to fix it in there like that okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to glue that on top of there and then i'm going to drill me two holes in the top here for the glow sticks so i'll get on with that now and uh, i'll find a drill bit first for that um, let's have a look now. So let's measure. Let's measure the glow stick first. Let's switch this. This on. So we're on an in inch. So we want it in millimeters. Okay. So just see. So that's worked out about what four and a half mil, roughly. Okay. So I think I should have somewhere. I'll just check this one here. I'm sure this is around about four mil. What's that now? Yes, there you go. You've got a four millimeter drill bit there. And that'll, like I say, half a millimeter, a little bit less than the uh, than the actual glow stick. Is, it'll be fine because with this being nice and soft, I'll be able to actually screw it into here and that'll make a nice watertight seal as well well that's the plan anyway so what i'll do is i'll get on with that and then uh, and then we'll drill a hole in the bottom fill this up with the uh, sealant and let it go off and then uh, we'll drill a hole in it and see what we, it looks like well there you have it there's the uh tin foil in there you see how reflected it is when i point it towards the window and the light they're, they're in quite tight them glow sticks this is glued on now as well so i've got my tin foil in there i've blocked the end off filled it up with that adhesive so i've tried this it's very buoyant and i've pulled it under the water as well and these don't leak you know so and you can see there i've just turned them you know what i mean they turn quite easily but they still make that nice tight seal and they're quite tight in there so it's uh, quite happy with that really so uh, well, all I'm going to do now is uh, drill that small hole in there. I think I've got something like a two and a half millimetre drill bit there, so I'll use that. Throw a hole through it and that should be job done. Alright, let's uh, drill a hole in this. <laughs> Jobs are good. Marvellous. Down on the floor. So the hole drill through it now. Both sides. A line will go through that. And there you have it. Homemade bobber float. And uh, any comments? The next one. The next light that goes, I'm going to be, uh, I'm thinking about building a LED one. Um, something going to have some uh, some rechargeable batteries down here. And uh, a single LED inside. I'm going to have a, uh, two little sensors here, I think, is the idea. And uh, that's going to be, you know, just a couple of metal strips there. 
and then they, when you dip in the water i'd like it to actually come on when it just when it when it, got, you know, it makes contact with water so but also i want them to um i want to be able to plug it plug it in and make a charger for it so it charges the battery so i don't need to actually get inside here and pull it out you know because i've had these i've had the led ones of these before and um the rubber seals go on them you know when you when you're fishing and you're switching you know they have a little switch on the on, on the top and inside there you know and then, then they get full of condensation and stuff like that so i want to make this so it's fully sealed and then uh, all i have to do is if, if if it goes flat um just come home and just plug it into a charger and then it recharges the batteries and i'm good to go again then you see so that's going to be my next project anyway so i'll see you in the next video cheers